Hi, thank you for joining me today and in today's video I'm documenting a photo from back in May 2014 when we took the kids to Disneyland Paris and we actually caught the train into Paris for the day and this is a picture of them gorging on some candy floss that Auntie Leanne bought for them. <laughs> they loved it. Um, you can see the Eiffel Tower in the background there as well. It was such a fun photo. It was quite a cloudy, miserable day but we really enjoyed it. So I'm just mat matting this photo on some white card stock. I think it's a full um, four by six photo. I don't think I've trimmed anything down. And I'm using the um, 49 and Market Serenity collection, both for the background paper and for these scraps that you can see me matting the photo onto. And these are literally pieces from the six by eight paper pad that I've used in the past. And um, these were the bits that were left over from it. And then I've been through my stash of older um, stash, <laughs> my collection of older stash, and pulled some uh, red bits out because you can see James has got a red uh, raincoat on and the girls are both wearing navy and white raincoats so I really wanted to focus on those colours um, so bringing a bit of red in. That tag at the top I know is from the April 2022 LE Studio monthly kit um, and the other bits I'm not quite sure because it's older stash. Uh, so now I'm coming in with the 49 and Market uh, stitched washi tape and I'm just creating a line down the centre of the page using the black thin one and um, you can see I've used my t-square ruler just to get the middle of the page just to measure the six inch mark there and then I'm coming in with some of the serenity washi tape as well just to tack alongside it I'm trying desperately to use my washi tape more often I always leave it languishing in my drawer and forget about it and I want to try and use all the things this year I don't have a huge stash um, so it's definitely manageable so I'm just trying to make sure that everything gets used so here I am faffing again with the papers and it does take me a little while to work out exactly how I want these to go um, it's just going to work out as a map behind that photo in the middle of the page and you can see to the left of my page I've also got some wood pieces these are new jd 3d print wood pieces we've got some chevrons the circle arrows and that arrow with the word love and they will all make it onto the page there's also a brand new wood veneer that says so sweet that circular piece that i've just touched there um if they're not in the hey little magpie shop and the etsy shop they will be very very soon these are super thin real wood veneer oak wood veneer and um, they're 0.6 of a millimeter thing thin so they'll be ideal for um, traveller's notebooks and planners and things like that. They um, are just the, th the thickness of a piece of paper, really, scrapbooking paper. So here I am adding the um, chevrons to the page. I really like how those look. And I've scattered some of the other bits and pieces around. And um, it's not over yet because, of course, I've got to glue everything down. So I'll move it and no doubt it'll be put back in different places. But <laughs> it's just giving me an idea of exactly what I want to do. You can see I've also got one of the Hail of the Magpie flare badges there from the Paris set. It's just a picture of the Eiffel Tower, so that works really nicely with this. Uh, so coming in with the 49 and Market Ticket Essentials in red and just adding a couple of tickets there to the left-hand side. I wanted something underneath that Remember This piece of cardstock because I felt like it was hanging out over the photo but with nothing underneath, it just looked odd. So I just wanted to bridge that gap there. So I want to add some of the Serenity washi tape along the bottom um, here. So you can just see me doing that there and just going to tear the edge. And it doesn't add an awful lot because the paper's blue, um, but it's just adding another texture and just something else to draw your eye down to the bottom of the page there. So look, I've messed everything up, <laughs> bringing it all back in. Um, and I've decided that it's time to start gluing. So just slowly building up that mat again, trying to remember where things were and of course I can't, but um, I shall just have a play and make sure that I'm happy before sticking things down. And you'll see I do us my usual method of sticking everything to the photo before sticking the whole mat down to the page. I find that much easier when I'm doing a layout like this with a centralised theme. I want to make sure that everything is centred, that I'm happy with it. So um, once I've got the mat, there you can see I'm just holding it in place and pulling the paper back to add the glue. Just slowly building everything up there. And then adding this red piece and once again just pulling up the photo and sticking that down. And then that can all go down onto that large navy blue piece that I started with. 
just checking that everything's straight, of course. And I really like the addition of those tickets. The two different colours work perfectly. And like I say, they just bridge that gap and bring the red into the page. And then I've got that red piece at the top left-hand corner and the other title piece, so happy together, at the bottom right-hand corner. Um, so it just works really nice as a design. So now gluing everything down onto that blue piece. And that's the photo mat worked out. So it's nice to have everything down and in place. <laughs> but I'm not finished because um, when I finish messing about with these pieces at the bottom, I realise that I actually want to distress all the edges on those papers. So I'm just going to come in with my scissors. I won't make you watch it all, but just because I haven't stuck everything down fully, I can just peel things back and scratch the edges with my scissors. So that's what I'm doing here. Only very lightly distressing, but um, I feel that that background paper um, lent itself to the rest of it being distressed very lightly. So that's what I did. So gluing this down now, so that then I can focus on the um, bits and pieces that I've pulled out, the wood veneer and things. And now um, just adding this title piece to some foam just to make it stand up a little bit. And these are the foam strips from Sticks too. They work really nicely. You don't need to get your scissors all gunky because <laughs> you can just pull off the right number. So adding that down to that bottom piece there and then I can start with these wood bits as well. And these are gorgeous. They're um, cut from MDF, 3 mil MDF, and you can use them naked as I have. It's a really nice craft color, or you can paint them. Um, MDF is super smooth, so it takes paint or ink or mists or watercolors really, really nicely. Um, I am going to try with some acrylic soon. And as I say, that So Sweet Circle is the brand new um, wood veneer that we'll be adding to the shop if it's not there already. If it is there, I'll link it down below. Otherwise, I'll come back and link it once it's listed. So um, just fiddling about, that little pink heart is one of the JD3D print hearts. And I thought um, I just wanted to bring in a tiny bit of pink for that for a nod to that huge piece of candy floss that Sophie's holding. So gluing all these wood veneer down, sorry, wood pieces down, just with PVA glue. It holds them really nicely. Obviously, if you add an awful lot to your page, it is going to make it heavier, but just a few little bits like this isn't too heavy at all. Nearly there with these. And then moving on to these circle arrows. I love these. The arrow is actually cut from the middle of the circle, so if you wanted to paint them in different colours and then re-stack them, you can do. They slot in perfectly together. So just checking that everything's stuck down now, adding a bit more glue to the top. And while I'm doing this, I feel like there's something missing. I know I want to add something else. So I pulled out some of my Ellie Studio puffy stickers and I just find this white puffy piece that says big smiles for this. So I slot that in at the bottom and that just fills in that gap quite nicely. I toy with the idea of moving this flare badge to the left-hand cluster here um, and then adding one of the black cameras from that puffy sticker sheet. You can see me here just trying it out, but I decide that I prefer the flare where it was. So move that back and commit. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to go for it and then you can't change your mind and keep faffing, which is my tendency. So now I'm coming in with my um, thankful stamp from Ellie Studio. This is a stamp that if you've watched me before, you'll see me using time and time again. It's a little plus signs. And I'm going in with the Distress Oxide in Chipped Sapphire just to add some around the top and the bottom of that washi tape. Uh, I'm not sure if this stamp is still available. We're trying to get hold of it. But if it isn't, I noticed that the Heart Eyes stamp that um, Jackie and I are using in our latest class kit, which is available on Hey Little Magpie, that has some a little plus stamp, which works really nicely. I've used it a couple of times in my layouts that I've done for that class. So that's a great alternative if you enjoy the look of that. So this Love This Circle is, again, from an LE Studio monthly kit. I think that might be the October one. I'm not quite sure. But um, just another circular piece to add. And then I'm using my date stamp to add the date to that ticket that's sticking out the left-hand side. It's the reverse 
side of the ticket and um, it's the perfect place to add the date. Now finally I'm coming in with these sequins. These are from my lovely friend Scrappy Adam um, from the Flare Hat. I know it's shut at the moment but hopefully it'll be opening soon and I think he still has the sequins in stock um, but they're a great little addition to pages and this is just a white set. So um, just a couple of sprinkles around the page to finish it off and that's it. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, do join me again on Thursday when I have my next process video up. And uh, thank you for subscribing if you do already or please do subscribe if you haven't yet. It really does help my channel so much. It gets me out to other people. Um, oh yes, this is his final piece that I did. I just used a black gel pen to add a couple of um, sketchy borders around the edge of the page. And that's it. Thanks so much. See you soon. Bye.